Look who we've just met this morning. You're having a good life, aren't you, Pace? I've got my uh, three in the back going, hold on a minute, we're not going for a walk. <laughs> oh, great to see you. So yeah. Yeah, walking, that's awesome. Are you enjoying walking them? Yeah, I'm really enjoying walking them. Great, yeah. And also, like, it's just that thing of, like, getting your body moving in the morning. Okay. I think he's like, I don't know who you are, mate. This, this, this life's a lot better than, <laughs> than being at home on the farm. That's right, we're still taking you out for a hunt. Yeah, we'll still go for a hunt. Just get him a set. Well, I'll let you carry on, bud. Just spotted a feral cat that's been hanging around here. Where's he gone? The rabbit there. There he goes. Right there. He's gone those bushes. So last night, Bruno slept in the kitchen, which has got nothing left in it. I'm over here, mate. Deaf, so he can't work out where I am. He's deaf in one ear. He thinks I'm on the other side of the door. Here I go, mate. Hey? Here I go. Hey? Hey? <laughs> Look at that dog run. He's pretty bloody uh, good shape since his operation. Having a big toilet. Okay, letting you out of here, Poe. Hey? Poe coming out. Come on, mate. There's your girlfriend. There she goes. There we go, Pete. Good boy. Pick up. Back in. Good boy. Stay here. Morning, Pigsy. Good boy, Pigsy. Here you go, mate. Hey, here you go. Always comes and says hello. Really looking good. Look at the blossoms on the apple trees. That pose already put herself in a box because she knows it's feeding time. Hey mate, you put yourself in there, good girl. You know what time it is, don't you? Posse yum time. If you have a dog that like scoffs at dinner, then you want to break. So I've got these cuts in this, this will fall apart in his mouth. Uh, Bruno doesn't, he's a uh, he's pretty slow eater, but some dogs, particularly a lot of those uh, massive type dogs like him, do tend to wolf it down. He's pretty good. See it's falling apart now, nice chunks for them. Because dogs can choke on dog roll, it has happened. See it's breaking up into bits he can manage. I found out the other day that Bruno is actually now in his 11th year. And you know, he's been fed the same tucker his whole life. And I think it's one of the reasons why he's doing so well. Even though he's had cancer, he's still in good nick. He's an old dog for a large breed like that, older than you'd expect to get. And uh, he's uh, really doing well. Very strong jaw. I've mentioned it before, we measured this a few years ago. A friend of mine, Stefan, uh, from Germany came out and he had a, a thing the dog bites and it shows the pounds per square inch and Bruno came up 503 was the biggest reading we got. The first one was around 480 and the second one was uh, 485 and then he did this massive big one and bang, 
503 pounds per square inch. That's a hell of a bite ratio. His current weight now is around 68 kg. Not for you, Bruno. Not for Bruno. You've had your lot, mate. That's for a certain duck on the farm. And that's Poe. She gets the least amount because Poe tends to get fat very easy, don't you, Poe? You run the smell of it all in your rag. In your box, Poe. Yeah, guys, we haven't forgotten. No, we haven't forgotten about you. And while my back was turned, Bruno was not doing what he would like to do. You've had enough, mate. Okay? We don't want you to get fat. Just want to keep you in good shape. All right, Bruno, we'll give you one of ducky spits. Just so you feel like, you know, getting something. Here you go. You ate that fast, Poe. Not for you. Okay, B. Oh, we're not going to get that through there, are we, mate? Sorry, mate. That's not going to work. Hold on, hold on. We'll give you this one, B. Yeah, B, you can have uh, the one I was going to give to... There we go, in your box. Right. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Eat up. He's a very gentle eater, just like his father, Pace. So don't cut it up. He takes tiny little bits. See that? Just very small bits. So that is the reason I don't cut us up. Good boy. So Poe is relatively hunt fit right now. She'll be getting another hunt uh, this weekend. She hunted last weekend. She's uh, getting on. She's like in her eighth year now. And a really good main dog, aren't you? Don't really even need the rest of the dogs, to be honest. She stops most of the pigs we catch by herself, and then they come in and either stuff it up or chew the pig when she's got it contained. We're not after big boars. We're after fat maiden sows for the pot. Hey, po, although she'll catch anything. And Bruno, well, his hunting days are over, aren't they? Be kind of fun to take you out one last time, but I think you find it a bit tough, mate, on the hill. Oh, we've got someone there who's trying to rob the posse on for Ducky. Come on, Sparrow, move along. Ducky's got this new place that she's living under the house truck. She's just shifted there recently. She likes it in here. G'day, mate. I found you. Morning, Ducky. How you doing, eh? Hey, duck, duck, duck. Look what I've got. I've got your favourite. I've got some posse yum. Yeah, there we go. Let's just uh, put them on the ground. You can pick that one up and have a chew. You know what it's all about. <laughs> Ducky can hear the water. I love water. Come on, mate, come and get it. Look at all this wild mint. Yum. I can see two chickens in here, so that means the other two must be in laying boxes. Oh, I can't see anybody in laying boxes. Oh, there we go. There must be one in the far laying box, too. Come on, old girl. She's an old Muscovy. I bred these guys for years, and I used to try to breed them white because when you're plucking them, it makes a colour that's uh, not showing up as much if you don't get all of the feathers off. It's on the ground there, mate. Can you not see it? Oh, you're looking at fresh water. Hey, would you like some more posse yum? Here, I'll water it over for you. Here we go. Yeah, do you want some posse yum? Yeah. You're a bit shy this morning, aren't you? There we go. I'm not going to chop your head off. There it goes on the ground. Try that. Ducky, tell me you like just about biting my hand off to eat it. You okay this morning? Hmm? Yeah, just gonna have a bit of the old uh, chicken feed, eh? I'll tell you what, mate, if you don't eat that posse yum, I know a big dogo that'll eat it. Oh, I see what's going on there. You've got two in the same bloody box. You could have had your own box, mate, but no, no. Someone else's box always looks better. Oh, yeah, Ducky wanted that fresh water. She's loving it. I knew she was a bit dry. Ducks need heaps of water, eh? She lives on the outside of the chicken run. You really couldn't blame Ducky for being weary of me. I mean, she's seen all her mates disappear one by one. And uh, they all got eaten. She's in particularly good condition. And I kept her because she's in good condition. She'd be a good breeding duck. Not that I want more Muscovies here. They make an absolute mess of the place. I would at some stage like to breed Pekin ducks. Because they're a much better eating duck than a Muscovy. And they're easy to keep. Come on, Bruno. We're going to go see Holly and Pace. Yeah. Pace is my little pig dog, my little mate. And Holly that lives up right up there on the cliffs in A-frame uh, with Dylan. Uh, that Dylan is my ex-landlord's son. And 
they were on the property and she wanted a dog to walk and I said we'll just take Pace for a walk each day. I think she's bonded quite a bit to Pace and I think he's bonded to her. So I can still hunt him whenever I want but he basically is now living a good life and we go and check out what his life is. Look at these ducks just down here, look. Isn't that cool? I don't care if the antis cry, if it flies, then it dies, boom, boom, duck tonight. It's a song I write about uh, shooting duck and eating it. You coming, old mate? You look a bit tired today. Anybody see that rabbit in the paddock over there? My neighbour Harry's knocked all these apple trees over. They look a bit sad, don't they? Wow, beautiful day, I can see. Clearly Murray's been doing some uh, firewood with this old man Pine here. That's a machine one day I'd love to own. What a view. What's happened here, Bruno? Hey, fences had this tree fall down on it, this pine. It's broken. So it's come down from up there somewhere. And it's like smashed the whole fence. Oh, okay. Didn't know that had happened. Well, that's another bloody job on the farm Murray didn't need. So this is where Pace is living now. And just to give you some idea, my house it's just over there, under that tree there, down there, in the bush. This is a house that uh, someone was trying to rob, two guys were trying to rob the drive, up the driveway here in the, the garage, and uh, that's uh, the one where Bruno broke that one up, and I'll tell you that story sometime. That's what I call a backyard. There you go, mate. I like your van. Well, who's up there? G'day, mate. Remember me? Do you remember who I am? Hey? Hey, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno where you going? G'day, mate. Hey, Pace. Pace, come. Good boy. G'day. You having fun with Holly, are you? Hey? Hey, you're a house dog now, mate. What's the story, eh? Hey? You're a bit of a house dog. I don't know, He's, he, it was quite funny when he, um, you went this morning because then every youth that went by, yeah. he was just like interested, he just wanted, he was like, oh, is that dad? Yeah, right. Like, you know, like, so he's, uh, he's quite funny really. Nice. I mean, he is having a good time. Well, he could always come home if he's not. No, you're just down the, just down the road, down the driveway. Yeah. You yeah. Can, you can always go home when you want, dude. Okay. He'll take himself home. Good boy, Pace. He's a good boy, eh? He's a good boy, eh? <laughs> Don't get jealous. Oh, Bruno gets jealous. They're jealous creatures, dogs. Yeah. Tell us about your van. Uh, so, yeah, so Dylan's wanted to build a van for a very long time, and I had an uncle who yes. actually had a van. Yeah. Um, he did it back in the UK. Mesh. <laughs> yes, yeah, he wants. So, at the moment, we've just put in the. Oh, you got the insulation, the floor, size insulation going down. Yep. Yeah, so that's gone. Oh, yeah, cool. So you just buy it um, like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we bought that from, I think, China. Oh, okay. And then the R rating of it is actually um, 4.5, which yep. is actually pretty good considering how much space it takes up, because this space takes up only a little yeah, right. bit of space. These high are great, eh? Hey? Yeah, they are. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so we got this off um, Facebook. Cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Little wee oven, yeah. Yeah, so you get um, some that's cool. space. Awesome, mate, yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome, a camper, and you guys are better have some uh, summer holidays. You got your water on board already? Yeah, so, yeah, so we've still got the self containment sticker from when we bought it. Right. And we want to carry on doing it, so um, just trying to make sure economically. But Dylan's bought these brackets. Yep. And on the brackets, they, and I'm going to slide, so they slide out. Oh, brilliant, yeah. So, what, what we're hoping is Dylan's going to weld them to the um, down here. Yeah, right, eh? And then basically what we're going to do is then we're going to have this so it then pulls out. Yep. And then the bed is going to be on top. So, and it's going to be quite high because um, we were talking about the fact of like wasted space in, yeah. in, in vans are kind of quite 
quite normal. Got to so. use all the space up your can, eh, Pace? Yeah. Hey. Pace is, a, is oh, when you take him for a drive, he gets so excited. Oh, he, my God, yeah. Like, like, when I've taken him to the beach, like, he's like, he wants to be, like, in my lap in the car. And I'm oh, like, yeah. dude, no, like, this is not safe. <laughs> can I have a sneaky look at your garden? Because, yeah. you know, I'm learning about yeah. gardening. And I know that um, Murray and Mary... Got a garden here. This is a place that, um, like around this place, Murray does all the outside work, but Mary's done a really good job of, of making the um, A-frame into an awesome home, eh? Yeah. She's yeah, really yeah, made a, yeah, she's done yeah. a fantastic job and it's been a homestay for a lot of people. Are you enjoying living in it? Yeah, I'm loving it. And do you know what the interesting thing is, is because of the fact that this has been in Dylan's family for a long time and his grandparents are yeah. here, is that for me, like, um, like everything, so I was talking to Mary and she said that her mum did the most of the garden and there's so many now of these roses that are coming out that are so beautiful. And old. Yeah, and old and you know, they've, they're really yeah. mature. And I think it's just really interesting because every season, something new comes out. Yeah. I mean, get a whiff of these because these are smell. They're just so good. They're they are. So good, yeah. I have been up here and looked after the place when they've gone overseas quite uh, regularly. Yeah. And what I really love is this garden. It's animal proof. What a smart idea. Check it out. The whole place is fenced in. That means you can stay out pace. He comes in. Can he, oh, he's allowed in, is he? Okay, yeah, he, right. gets, he gets to come in. Bruno, okay. maybe not so much. This is awesome, mate. What a garden. Yeah. Look at these raised beds. So, I've been doing a bit of reading about companion planting. Okay. Um, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Um, around like what works with what. And I was actually going to do myself a big kind of thing. But this is obviously silver beet. Yeah, and, and you've got a lettuce here. Lettuce, and then this is purple sprouting. Oh, yep, yep. And then thyme. Mm. And then we've got, if you keep going, so this is all different types they of, yeah. this is actually really interesting. This is a little bit more bitter. It looks like a beetroot. What is it? It looks like a beetroot, but it's not. It's actually a different type of silver beet, apparently. Oh, well, okay. So yeah. That's cool. Brussels sprouts. Oh, uh, yep. So but if eating you it, see, eh? yeah. Yeah, got the same in mine too. All the aphids. Mm -hmm. But then I was reading yesterday on like one of your videos that someone said like about garlic powder yeah, and yeah. water, which I was going to try, start trying and see whether they're not the help. And then I have no idea what this is. This has come through. And if mm. anyone wants to tell me, Dylan thinks it's a potato. But who knows? Let's no. see. Um, let's ask Pace, because Pace is actually Irish. That's fucking right I am. I got a voice from, from Dublin. I'm a, I'm a dub. That's right. <laughs> and I think that is a potato. Actually, I don't have a fucking clue, man. I just sniffed this here in the grass. What's that down there? Did you know you did an Irish accent, Pace? No. You know, no, I did not. That's why, that's why all those commands have not been working. Yeah, no, no, no. It's these... Yeah, I like a bit of the old grass too, you know, I smoke the belly in the gash uh, sometimes. Um, <laughs> right now I'm just chewing on a bit of grass because I might have worms. It's all over just since I was wormed. That's right. Oh, that's lovely. Who says uh, grass is only limited to sheep and rabbits? What's that, man? I'm into it. Look at that. That's lovely. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, I'll get more of that in me. I get, I get high on that, man. I'll be as high as a kite. I'll, I'll get that in me later and I'll be listening to a bit of bit of uh, Bob Marley, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's a uh, he's definitely Irish. Yeah, didn't, um, <laughs> didn't actually know that until I got him. So these are your spring onions, and with these you can like yeah. you can see you've chopped it, and then it grows yeah, up again. Yeah, and eh? then it grows up again. And then if the um, bird forms, you can just take the bud off. But this is obviously Dylan's on this one um, <laughs> because I'm like I'm like normally I just take the little bit off here. Yeah, but right. If you actually let these um, flower, they're actually really quite tasty in. Um, Oh, really? Salads. Oh, really? Yeah, because they still have like the flavour of the like the spring onion thing. Gotta give that a go, man. So yeah, yeah. so yeah, so I would be taking this inside rather than everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Dylan, don't waste them, okay? They're good. <laughs> Pace, you're not allowed to eat onion because onion's not for dogs, okay, no, mate? No, onions are really not good for dogs. Not good for dogs. Onions, chocolate and corn cobs, not for dogs. Okay. See you later, Pace. I'll go and find Bruno. He'll be out here somewhere. I'm too far away. Yeah, probably. Stalking himself. Is this your bed place? <laughs> My God. So yeah, and then this is uh, just like an old blanket that I had lying around. I was going to tie dye it for the van, but it will get washed if, if not, if, you know. But he doesn't see, oh, here we go. Now you're going to prove me wrong, huh? Now you're going to prove me wrong. Of course he is. Good boy in your box. Good boy. He's fine in there. Is he trying to sneak out, is he? Yeah, like last night I told him to go in there and he just was like, no. So what command were you giving him? Yeah, at pace. What? in your box. That's the one. It's, it's in your box. Just like that. Okay. Good boy. And it's going to be firm. Like, in your box. Yeah. In your box. And don't be afraid to manhandle like that. Like, you know, in your box. Stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're the boss. He puts his ears back and, oh, I'm being hurt. No, he's not. No, no, no. You've okay. got to dominate dogs all the time. Particularly high prey drive dog like this guy. You stay in your box. Stay. Good boy. That's a good boy pace. That doesn't mean you get out of your box. No. Stay in your box. 
good boy. Yeah. And he's fine, this box. And what a great yeah, box yeah. to hit. It's not even a box. It's a nice round, you know, it's a basket. It's a proper basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does he sleep here or does he sleep in your room? So he sleeps here, generally, mm -hmm. because of the fact that, like, you know... Oh, that's why he's getting out. He wants to be in your room, mate. He wants yeah. to be where you are, where you can hear your breathing. That's what's going on there. You're a good boy, Bruno, aren't you? You waited outside like a good dog. Right, we're going to go back to the old farmhouse. Are you going to go home with Dad or are you going to stay with me? You can keep him, Holly. He's fine with you, mate. Just drop him back when you want to. Let me know. Yeah. And Pace, you be a good boy. You stay. Come on, Bruno. Let's go. And thanks for showing us. That's all right. All right. Come on, Bruno. Come on, boy. No, you're not coming, Pace. You're going to need to hold on to him, mate. He's going to follow hey, me. Come. Where you go, Pace? Hey, come. Where you go, Pace? Come. Good boy. Hold him. Maybe put a rope on while I go, mate. Otherwise, he'll follow me. Bruno, come. Well, check out these flowers down here. What are these? These look beautiful. Check these out. Look at these flowers. They're absolutely beautiful. What are they? Some sort of wildflower. They're everywhere. Come on, Bruno. We're going, mate. Bruno, come. Well, that was Pace and his new life in Holly. And I think he's a pretty happy dog. Come on, Bruno. You don't have to pee on everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be good, can't be good. Be careful, and we'll see you in the next one. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, Bruno. Come on. In the evening time, I feed my hound dogs before I feed myself.